Hello, my name is Brian Kolb at Applied CX. Welcome to another five minute tutorial from FEMAP and Annex Nastran. This tutorial is going to cover how you can leverage already existing APIs to create your own custom programs that can fit any sort of need you might have. So APIs are incredibly powerful tools that can help automate tasks and often do things that are uh, beyond VMAP's default abilities. Taking the leap and learning how to write APIs can be a very daunting task. So there's plenty of information out there in the help file and on the web, uh, but it can still be really hard to figure out how to go about writing code to do something. One thing that I found really useful was to go ahead and look at some of the already created APIs and use those kind of work through what are, the, what are the commands that I need to do something that I understand? So I'll work through each in line and kind of write out in English what it's doing. And that really helped me understand the language. You can kind of see the different commands. Um, and then you can go look them up in the help file, which if you come up here, about, you can see we have this API section right here. And when you open that up, you have a bunch of different information um, that you can kind of work through the different objects. So as you're reading these things and you see something, you can come in here and see what that function does and kind of get a feel for it what's going on. So once I kind of got a good feel for you know APIs, the language, and what's going on, I took it a step further and started creating my own codes. And the first thing that I did was I took these existing codes that I started to understand and I tweaked them. So you know, let's say I wanted to, to move a node or something or move, move something. You can go and find an API that's already moving something and kind of tweak it to fit your needs. Today, I'm going to show you an API that I created to contour the percent differences between output sets. And it was built using an already established API that happens to be in our custom tools. So we come up to custom tools here. You have post-processing, ASME stress intensity calculator. And what this does is it allows us to choose uh, outputs. And it's going to calculate the memory stress from those. So basically, this thing's already going to take output sets, take output vectors, manipulate those, create a new output vector, and stick that back into our output set. So this was already kind of doing what I wanted. So it's just a matter of taking what I needed from that program, putting it in a new one, and kind of massaging it into uh, to a, to a program that will work for me. Since this is just a five minute video, I don't want to go too deep into the actual programming. Um, you can find a lot of these custom tool programs. They're all going to be in your install directory. So if you come in here, um, to your program files, you've got FEMAP, you'll have this API folder. And in here, you'll have all the different categories that you have up here. And so if we come down to post-processing, we have this ASME stress intensity calculator. You can open that up in Notepad. You can kind of get to see what's going on here. But starts out sort of like you see most programs. I'm not going to get really too deep into what's going on here. Um, you know, we have API classes and there's help files and things. It can be a bit confusing. But what I really want to show is just the general flow of things. So you can kind of work through here and see, you know, there's a lot of times they'll have some some green writing in here, which isn't part of the code, but it'll explain what's going on. Um, so you can work through this here. And then you see, you come down here, it's taking the plate top uh, normal stress and the plate bottom X normal stress and adding those two together and dividing by two. And that's going to create your plate membrane X normal stress. So I was able to go ahead and take this portion of the program right here, where we're actually doing this and stick it into a new program. So I went ahead if we take a look at our my percent difference between output sets, um, again, we have a lot going on up here. I'm not going to get into that. But you can see this looks very familiar, right? So it's got that same exact program. I even used the same values. Um, so I just sort of I figured out what it was doing by looking up these codes in the help file. And then I was able to kind of take that section, stick it in here, and then be able to create the, the other portions to work for my needs. So without getting too deep into the code, I'm just going to go ahead and quickly show you how my API works. So I've got a pressure vessel here. It's got a, a fluid load on there and a side load. Uh, and I wanted to see what the, you know what what the effect is if I change increase the thickness here from quarter inch to half inch. What is the percent change of those outputs? You know, it's one thing to come in here. You can see the stress with the thin shell, and you can see that it drops significantly when we increase that thickness. But what exactly is that? So to run APIs. Make sure it's turned on. Go to your uh, tools and programming and make sure you turn on this API programming. And when you do, this window will pop up. So you can see in here we've already opened up that program. And to run it, we just have to hit play. So when we do that, it's going to come over here. And the way that I've written my program is it's going to say, you know, pick output set for your original values. So we started with our thin shell. Hit OK. 
then it's going to say pick the output set for your new value here and then it's going to take do those calculations that we saw earlier and dump it into this new output set so for a second let's select that now if we come over here and click on this everything breaks down because so we don't have von Mises stress we only have two output vectors in here and those are going to be plate top percent change and plate bottom percent change doesn't matter what we select because I set this up to be able to contour a double-sided planar So now you can kind of work around and you get a nice visual feel for the percent change. You know, we're going anywhere from 358 to negative 82 percent. You can also go ahead and turn the clipping plane on so we can see the inside of the vessel. And you'll notice that we do have different values for plate top and plate bottom. This API is going to be included with this video. I highly recommend taking a look at it, working through what's going on, try and figure out, you know, what does what. You can feel free to take this API and you know, tweak it to fit whatever you want. All right, that concludes our five-minute video. Uh, thank you for your time.